Hey guys, welcome to Daily Drawing with Jolly. And today is going to be one exciting day because the couch came. It literally came like a few minutes ago and I need to unbox this. So uh, I'm like right away starting to unbox it because the second one can't fit inside the door. Um, so I'm going to be doing that outside. But this is like the second thing I'm most excited for apart from like the TV and stuff like this because um, this will like impact a whole lot in terms of like uh, filling out the space and not making everything sound so echoey. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. I also ordered a sofa bed. So whenever I have some late nights where I need to, you know, edit um, some late night sessions, I can just sleep here. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get right into it. If you're here for the drawing, you're just gonna have to skip ahead. I don't know how long. I'll probably put a timestamp somewhere uh, down below. But here we go. Oopa. It should fit right here. And my idea is to like put the sofa here and then the TV there. Um, but that's the idea anyway. I don't know. I might have to like change it over time. Who knows? But. Okay, comes with pillows, amazing. Uh, I'm gonna have to set this up. So uh, let's, uh, I guess let's do a time lapse. Everything's unpacked. Now it's time to uh, start putting all this together. Hopefully there's there's a manual, which I think there should be. In here, there you go, okay. So uh, yeah, uh, you're gonna see me do this in time-lapse, cause yeah, it's gonna be hectic. Hopefully it's easy. All right, guys, so we are pretty much done setting this up. Man, it took me roughly an hour. Um, it's probably, I, don't, I would say it's the second most difficult thing I set up in this whole studio. First thing, it has to be the drawing table. That has to be the most complicated, you know, setup. But um, yeah, I struggled mostly in the beginning because the instructions, I, I wasn't able to really understand it at first. But, you know, once you kind of get, the, you know, the general sort of, idea it gets pretty easy i think the most the hardest thing that i struggled with was putting in the little legs because i had to really screw it in um but other than that it was pretty chill you know i had a little a little fun i guess some fun uh, setting this up but man i just wish you guys could experience this happiness i'm feeling right now because this whole thing to me is like a totally new experience for me it's kind of surreal because i've never experienced something like this before in terms of owning my own place, you know, getting out of my parents. Although this is not like a living space per se, it is still mine. And, you know, having to, uh, you know, experience all these new things and seeing how things are coming together is pretty surreal. Um, and I wanted nothing more but to bring you guys along with the journey because this is all because of you guys, seriously. like. It, Every little thing here is because of you guys, and I wanna really, I just wanna thank you guys. Um, but before I go, I wanted to unbox uh, two more things that I brought today, uh, that they brought today, um, just for funsies, because why not? Um, the first one is a vacuum cleaner, and this one is an electric vacuum cleaner. I mean, at my parents, we never used vacuum cleaners we always use like a broom and that, that was it um, but I felt like you know since I'm gonna be owning like rugs and stuff I felt like I needed one and I thought I would just get a an electric one Oopa, sorry about that. <laughs> um, you know with a not an electric I mean all of them are electric I mean like with battery battery powered one and I saw this one on Amazon again like none of nothing that I'm showing you guys today is sponsored in any way but um, yeah, 
I'm gonna, I'll set this up, I guess, in my own time, but I just wanted to show you guys because I did sort of promise to show you guys almost everything. I mean, I'm not able to show every little thing that I bring in here, but whenever I can, I'll try to unbox most things. But um, yeah, here you go. So, and this is pretty much it. Uh, there's a lot more stuff, but I'll set it up at my own time. And then finally, uh, I got a mini fridge that I'm gonna set right beside the microwave and the um, air fryer. The little, um, you know, like stand, like kitchen sort of stand that I'll probably set up for all of this has actually arrived and I haven't unboxed that yet. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that to see me set the whole mini kitchen area. Um, that should be exciting. And uh, yeah, I ordered a fridge that also has a little like freezer section because I wanted to freeze stuff as well, you know? You know, I wanted to freeze maybe like ice cream or something, or just ice in general. It's not very big, the section from what I've seen, but let's let's open and see now how how it is. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty it's pretty cool. It's not it's not like super big, but I didn't want anything huge anyway. Um, and then here's a little freezer section, I think, um, the where you can put ice and stuff like that. But yeah, that's uh, that's the idea. So uh, I'm gonna put this right beside all of those. But yeah, again, I just want to thank you guys so much for following me along on this journey. Uh, again, I couldn't have done any of this without you guys. So I wanted nothing more than to just show you guys the entire process from start to finish as much as I could. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get right into the drawing. So let's get right into the drawing. If you want to grab a pencil and paper and draw along with me, you're more than welcome to. So this comment is to draw Piccolo as a pickle. Hopefully it's easy, uh, simple enough. Um, we drew Kakarot, Goku, as a carrot. So this one should be in a way similar. I'm going to try my best to not spend too much time on this. Um, because as mentioned many times, I'm trying my best, right, to make sure it's like at the most like 20 minutes ish, uh, especially because this entire thing is in real time and I don't want to spend too long on this. But anyway, first thing I did, as you can see here, is I drew the shape of a pickle, right? Now, depends on how you want to draw this, but I'm going to draw this uh, kind of like three quarter view. So we're gonna draw him like this, right? Um, now I do have two references up. The first reference is, <laughs> it's actually of Pickle Rick, you know, uh, from Rick and Morty. And another one is of Piccolo. So I'm kind of combining them both in a way. Um, I'm not using an actual pickle in this one, just because I feel like you don't really need like a reference of a pickle, right? Like it's pretty easy and straightforward to understand the shape and oh, just how a pickle is. <laughs> I don't think you actually need, a, uh, you know, the, a pickle to be looking at it as you're drawing it. So I just picked um, pickle Rick because I feel like it's a, it's better. It's a better reference to use than an actual pickle. And since it it has a face on it, it's so like it's it's a better reference to use overall. So anyway. Uh, yeah, today we unboxed uh, my first couch ever in the studio. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, what, is this a studio or is this uh, a, a home or what is this, right? Um, well, it is technically, it is a studio. This is not a, a living space. It's meant for, for working, but at the same time, whenever I need to relax or whatever, I'm here as well. So it's kind of like... It's not a living space, but it's a lounge area as well, uh, as well as a, a working area, you know? So it's kind of both, uh, but I don't sleep here, or I mean, 
At some point, maybe I might, but I got a sofa, a sofa bed. Yeah, sofa bed. Um, for the sole purpose of that, in case one day I have like a long, long day of working or whatever, I can just sleep here if I really want to. But I don't know. I mean, so far, I mean, I've had the couch for a couple of days now. And to be honest, it doesn't completely feel like, like a homey, you know, because it, I mean, it's not a home and it's not my home. And this is the first time that I'm like away from my actual home and trying to maybe hopefully sleep here if I want to. So it doesn't really feel very homey. But anyway, that's over time. That's something that will come over time as, and as um, you know, uh, more things come and I fill this place up, it's going to feel more and more homey. But yeah. Anyway, that's the plan at the moment. Uh, so far, things are good. I'm, I'm loving it. I mean, it's not like the best couch ever, but it is pretty, it's pretty comfortable, you know, and I don't mind it. I mean, coming from a place, I mean, in my house, like I barely go to the living room. It's kind of like my, my parents' place to be in. So I'm mostly in my room, which is a bit strange, I know, to, to, <laughs> to comprehend because other people don't live like that. I don't know. I feel like I'm more of a, uh, I don't know, more of an introvert in that sense. And that's how my parents raised me in a way. So it is a bit different for me because most people don't, for example, like <laughs> um, one of my friends right in Ireland, because I went to Ireland for a bit and I lived in his apartment for a little bit. And I was pretty much all day inside the room and I didn't go out like mostly it's just to go shower and eat uh, I'll cook something I mean I was still eating my room but he was kind of surprised like why am I in my room so much right like I stay <laughs> in my room so much and I don't go out and it feels like I'm in a prison or something which I, I didn't really think about it like that because I'm just too used to doing absolutely everything in my room I, I sleep in my room I eat in my room, I work in my room, like, and my room was so tiny that I didn't really complain for, for, I mean, ever, you know, so I, I kind of got used to that, but looking at it, looking at it from outside, I, you know, it is a bit strange to, to be doing something like that, so anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just a little interesting fact about me, but Anyway, I don't, I don't go to the living room in my, uh, at my parents, um, just because, I don't know, I barely even talk to them as much. So I'm mostly just in my room, you know, recording videos, editing videos, uh, stuff like this. So, yeah, I, I'm coming from a place where I barely go to the couch, right, or use a couch. So for me, I'm like super happy with, with what I got. Um, and also the couch that we have in my, my parents is not, it's like super old. And at this point it's like, we need a new one. It's like breaking up and stuff. Uh, my mom keeps telling me to get a new couch. <laughs> um, cause my parents, you know, finance, uh, financial situation at the moment is like super tight, which I'm thinking of getting them one, um, at some point. So yeah, but anyway, I haven't gotten them once. I'm going to now because I, I mean, I don't really use it. And to be honest, they haven't really been complaining. They don't really, I mean, it's, it's mostly my mom because, uh, you know, my, my mom is Chinese, right? And she kind of, uh, I guess she's more, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, it's not the best looking couch. It's kind of old looking. So my mom is like, um, more worried about it. I don't know. I'm not really worried, but more aware because, you know, Chinese people are, are more uh, sensitive when it comes to their image, right? Because it doesn't look good, right? And other people will feel like, oh, are we, we're like poor or something, right? Which, well, well, my dad doesn't really care that much, you know, he's kind of, he's an African man. <laughs> I mean, sometimes he mentions it. He's like, yeah, we've got a really old looking crappy couch. Um, but 
but for the most part, he doesn't complain. And also, to be honest, we barely bring people home. Um, my parents never bring anybody home. I barely bring anybody. And if I do bring somebody, it will be like, it will be in my room. So, yeah. We've, we've been using that, that tiny couch, you know, broken couch for years now. And yeah, anyway. I don't know why I'm, I'm rumbling so much about this, but all right. So we are drawing the head here and we're almost done. Um, I haven't really talked a, a whole lot about the process, but as you can see, I'm pretty much just drawing him in a three quarter view. Um, as mentioned, I do have a, a reference of Piccolo, like a chibi Piccolo. And this brought me back so many memories because this specific reference of Piccolo like, I remember that back then, I think I used to draw. I used to draw, because back then I used to draw Dragon Ball a lot. But also, just Dragon Ball in general was so popular when I was little, right? Like, they were like Dragon Ball cards and stuff like this. And this specific image of Piccolo, um, I used to see very, very often. Um, so, yeah, it just brought back so many memories for me. And also, yeah, rest in peace, Akira Toriyama, uh, the creator of Dragon Ball. Because as I mentioned in my tribute video, well, in the comments, and on the comments, the um, description or bio, or no, the caption. Um, like, he influenced me so much in terms of um, starting to draw, because Dragon Ball was one of the first things I learned to draw. I was pretty obsessed with it. And back then I used to like trace Dragon Ball a lot, you know? That was like the thing to do. <laughs> because back then I was just horrible at drawing, right? Like I just I just couldn't draw well. So one way for me to like uh I guess uh, brag to people about like, hey, look, I can draw. It's like, you know, I used to trace. <laughs> um, but in a way, it's it's good, especially if you're starting out to trace because that helps you to, I guess, understand um, like shapes and how you should be, you know, how you should be drawing them proportions, stuff like this. So if you're starting out and you're tracing, yeah, don't don't feel ashamed in any way. Just know that I started with tracing, so it's totally, it's totally fine if you are tracing. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're drawing Dragon Ball Z Piccolo. Uh, I don't think, is he in Dragon Ball Super? It's been a while since I've watched it. I don't know if there, I don't think he has this design anymore. Um, but yeah, this is like the OG Piccolo design. We're drawing a little cape. Now I'm not following the reference like one to one. Again, whenever I draw like clothes and stuff, uh, I barely, I barely follow it exactly because clothes are very organic and they don't have to be perfect. As long as you understand how clothes work in a way, right, uh, should be, you shouldn't really bother too much about that, I guess, because, yeah. Uh, I'll just finish off here. And I don't think I'll draw hands because again, it's a pickle. So I'm not gonna draw any hands. And we're just gonna draw the little belt thingy here. There we go. Also, if you want to like shade things in, what I'm doing also, I'm, I'm kind of erasing, trying to make things a bit neater because, yeah, whenever I try, try to, I, I 
I make a lot of lines, like sketchy lines, makes things a bit messy. So I like to go back and just erase lines that I don't need and make things a bit more neater in a way. But yeah, anyway, if you want to like shade in, for example, the bottom part here, you can also here. Now this isn't like, again, one-to-one -one with the reference, but just kind of have a general idea of how the light is shining. Maybe it's going from the top right and then you can shade all the bottom part here like this. One, two, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's just to add a little bit of depth to it, right? And I'm just gonna finish that off. And we're gonna draw the little pants here. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect. I'm, I'm just gonna draw like one sleeve, right? Just one uh, leg type thing. Um, I'm thinking, should I draw like the middle? stripe here like this. I don't even know if I should because it doesn't have two, two, two legs, but anyway, it's okay. Completely up to you. Again, like it doesn't completely have to make sense as long as it looks like a cool design, you know, we're good. And then I'm gonna go back and then erase some lines. But there you go. It was quicker than I expected. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'm gonna refine this a little bit and maybe put in make the cape a bit bigger, right? I like that. And And then we can shade this bottom part if we want to. There you go. All right. Um, Piccolo does have purple sh a purple outfit, so we're gonna make this a bit dark. All right. Just gonna shade this in. Now, one thing that I'm thinking while while I was shading this is um. Kind of going the opposite direction of how I've been going. Maybe it's not something that you should do, um, but since I've already started, I'm just gonna continue with the direction. Because every everyone, whenever I try to shade, I go one direction, but this time I just started that direction. So I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna continue like this. Um, but whenever you can, always try to follow the same direction whenever you're shading. Um, or if you wanna follow my style of shading and coloring, that's what I tend to keep in mind. Um, doesn't matter what I'm coloring or shading, everything is gonna be the same direction, just to have an order to things, right? Um, uh, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna make this a bit light, since this is like light blue. I'll just shade that a little bit. But uh, there you go. There we have Piccolo as a pickle. Um, hopefully you like the design. I tried my best to incorporate it into the pickle shape as much as I could. And as always, if you want to, you can go back to it, uh, add more depth to it, color it if you want to, uh, ink it as well to make things a bit more refined, more finished. But we're just gonna, I'm just gonna finish, uh, leave this as a sketch. Um, yeah, otherwise this video is gonna take forever. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. There you go. Okay, that's Piccolo as a pickle. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, definitely leave them down in the comments below, and I'll definitely check them out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.